Hello, I'm Kurt Libke with the Herald and News. It's Friday, February 8th, 2019. Here's your run on some of the top stories affecting the Klamath Basin. It's the Klamath Countdown. Sky Lakes Medical Center is contesting a conditional use permit that the Klamath Falls City Council approved for a new social services site at Timbermill Shores last month. On January 9th, the council voted 3-1 to one to approve the permit, which would allow for conditional use of a government office building for the Oregon Department of Human Services. The new three-story, 92,000-square-foot building would replace an already overcrowded DHS office space downtown. DHS employs about 200 workers and believes the new building will allow them to hire 50 more. Skylakes is fighting the decision through the Oregon Land Use Board of Appeals, or LUBA. Skylakes insists that the Timbermill Shores area should not be used to develop social services sites for DHS due to it being prime pieces of commercial and retail real estate in our region. On Sunday, a tragic aircraft crash in the Los Angeles suburb of Yorba Linda left five people dead, including the pilot of a twin-engine Cessna 414A Chancellor. But in the wake of the accident, questions have risen about the pilot, aircraft, and their ties to Klamath County. The aircraft was registered in Chiloquin and was pending new registration in Klamath Falls to a company called KL Management LLC with a listed address matching the KG Quilter in Klamath. The pilot, Antonio Pastini, was a resident of Gardnerville, Nevada. The KG Quilter is owned by Debbie Pastini. According to the Oregon Secretary of State's office, KL Management does not exist. It is not registered in the state of Oregon, but it is listed in Nevada. The Orange County Sheriff's Department recovered a badge and credentials from the cockpit, indicating that Pastini was a retired Chicago police officer, a claim he made repeatedly in interviews about his restaurant business in northern Nevada. But on Tuesday, a spokesperson for Chicago PD said that no records existed indicating that Antonio Pastini was ever a member of their department. A year ago, things looked dire, with all funds exhausted and no viable means to continue operations of a youth center in Klamath Falls that serves as a safe, welcoming place for kids in the hours between school's final bell and when parents arrive home from work. After a successful community-driven fundraising campaign last year to save the Integral Youth Services Youth Center, a new campaign is now being launched to cover overhead costs and what will be an annual effort going forward. IYS hopes to raise $90,000 over the next six months to cover costs for the center, which provides free meals, activities, and supervision free of charge. Joining the fundraising effort currently is Ross Dress for Less in Klamath Falls, which is matching every dollar donated at their store to help the IYS Youth Center. More than 125 veterans and active duty military personnel were honored on Tuesday at Henley High School's annual Military Appreciation Night during varsity basketball games between the Hornets and Klamath Union Pelicans. Around 1,500 onlookers honored veterans and active members of every branch of service. At halftime, the school recognized the support and partnership of the 270th Air Traffic Control Squadron and 173rd Fighter Wing at Kingsley Field and introduced keynote speaker Captain Rich Schuster of the 173rd Fighter Wing. The 65 cadets in Henley High School's 931st Air Force Junior ROTC unit also participated by ceremoniously unfurling a 30 by 60 foot American flag. Looking for things to do in the Klamath Basin? Here are a few options. This Sunday, a piano virtuoso arrives at the Ross Ragham Theater, Mark Valenti. On Sunday, Valenti will host a master class at 11.30, followed by an open public lecture at 1 p.m. in the Ross Ragland Theater's main lobby and a full concert at 2 p.m. Also upcoming at the Ragland will be a special film screening of the final sold-out stop on Josh Groban's Worldwide Bridges Tour. The concert film of his performance at Madison Square Garden will be next Tuesday at 7 p.m. Now, the 40th Annual Winter Wings Festival is next weekend at the Oregon Tech campus, but the deadline to register online for many of the activities, including the keynote speakers, is this Sunday. So for field trips, workshops, presentations, and more, all in the name of birding, be sure to go on winterwingsfest.org and reserve your spot. The festival takes place February 14th through the 17th. And something fun and different for Valentine's Day is now taking reservations. Last year, Monster Max Murder Manor was an impressive haunted house new to the basin. And for a special three-day run, the Murder Manor returns February 14th through the 16th with a dinner for two and tour through the haunted house. Dinner is $60 for two with options of beef, chicken, or a gluten-free vegetarian meal. Contact Nerds R Us in Klamath Falls to make your reservations now for what is sure to be a very memorable Valentine's Day dinner. As always, for a full run of upcoming events, check out Thursday's Limelighter section. So until next week, for these stories and so much more, be sure to pick up your daily copy of the Herald of News or visit us online at heraldandnews.com.
www.thinkingmusicsoftware.com.